N-G-A. We're going to learn it from Angie. Uh, she's a robot from Sweet. We're going to learn it from Angie. That's me. Welcome to Engineering Expo. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Hi guys, welcome to Exploration Place. My name is Victoria Mitchell and I am the education manager here. So a little bit about me before we get started. I have a background in biology from Southwestern College and I've been teaching for over six years now. I've been here since 2014 and before that worked at a vet clinic. Okay, so for today's activity hoop glider, you're going to need the following materials. Two pieces of construction paper, two paper straws, or plastic, but we recommend paper. Some tape of any kind. You can use washi tape, masking tape, or scotch tape, even duct tape works, and a pair of scissors. First thing, let's go ahead and pick up a piece of paper. So hold that piece of paper out in front of you. What does it feel like? Is it light? Is it heavy? Well, it is pretty light because it's just a single piece of paper. So hold that piece of paper out in front of you and give it a good toss in the air and see what happens. So at some point, it's gonna go down. And usually that piece of paper will kind of float a little bit and then make its way back down. Do any of you know why it would do that? Take a moment to discuss it and see what you can come up with to see how you can get that piece of paper to fly straight through the air. All right, it's time to build our hoop glider so that we can get that piece of paper to move smoothly across the air. So we're going to start again with one sheet of paper and we're gonna fold it hot dog style once, like this. And then we're gonna fold it hot dog style again so that you get four pieces of paper four different sections. If you'd like to, you can actually make these even skinnier, but I'm gonna leave that up to you when you would fold it one more time so that you get a thinner piece of paper. Once you've got all of your folds, you're gonna open it right back up, just like this. You're gonna take your scissors and cut right along each of those creases, just like this. So take a few minutes to Cut out your strips. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to. And when you come back, we will assemble our hoop glider. All right, did you get all of your pieces of paper cut out? Perfect. So you should have four to six pieces of paper that look like this. They should all be the same length and they should all be about the same width. Now they don't need to be perfect for this to work. It's totally fine if they've got some jagged edges. But we, what we are gonna do is we're going to want to cut some of our sheets so they're a little shorter. So you're going to want at least one of your strips of paper to be about three inches shorter than the rest of them. And you're just gonna do that by cutting some of that off and setting this piece off to the side. We won't need it. So you'll need some short pieces, at least one short piece, and at least one long piece to make this work. And our next step is going to be to make those strips into circles. So for this part, you might need some help from a friend or an adult, either way is fine, but you're just going to make those ends meet and then tape them together like this so that you have two hoops. You can use any type of tape, just like I said before. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna use purple. It's my favorite color. We're gonna get our tape and we're just gonna tape that strip together, just like this. And you'll do the same thing with your smaller piece so that you end up with two hoops, one that is big and one that is small. All right, take a few seconds to do that, pause that video and come right on back when you're ready. So now that you have both your hoops, your big one and your small one, we're going to finish assembling our hoop glider. So to do that, you're going to take your straw, right, like this, you're going to slide it just inside of your hoop so that it looks like this and tape your straw and your hoop together. So again, take a little piece of tape, tape your big hoop on one end and your small hoop onto the other end. 
Make sure that those hoops are going the same direction. So they're both standing up just like this. And this is what your hoop glider looks like. When you're ready with your hoop glider, we're gonna go test it and see how far we can get it to go. So in order to have a good test, we wanted to make sure that we could find some place that was high enough that we could get some good distance. So for our testing today, we've made our way to the top of Design Build Fly next to our fuselage, and we're gonna test our hoop glider by throwing it off the balcony and see how far it can go. So are you ready for your first test? All right, on the count of three, one, two, three. Oh, that was pretty good. How did yours go? Okay, so now that we've made our hoop glider work, now it's the time for us to make a modification. So, do you guys know what it means to modify something? Well, it means to change it. So when we're working with engineering, we change one thing at a time, and that one thing is called a variable. So there are many different things that you can do to your hoop glider to change those variables. You could change the shape of your hoops, you could add another hoop, you could add another piece of paper to the top or a straw to the top. It's up to you, but remember, you can only change one thing. So for mine, I'm gonna change the shape of my hoops. So for me, I'm gonna make them into squares. So to do that, I'm just gonna push down and crease right here and do the same thing at the top. And see how that's changed from a hoop to a square or a diamond? That's a very easy modification that you can make to change your single variable. So take a few moments at home to work on your variable change and make your one modification, and then when we come back, we'll test again. All right, on to test number two. With your modifications, of course. So let's see how far this one will go instead. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. All right. Surprising. Wow, well how did yours fly at home? I know for me, I definitely saw some changes. So which of yours flew better? The original design or the modified design? So for me, I think personally that my original design was better. Why do you think yours was best? Now we do know that the hoops are acting like wings and there are lots of different types of wings in nature and that, man, that are man-made. So we have eagles and their wings may allow them to glide with all of their feathers. We also have airplanes which use flaps to guide them and keep them in the air. Now when we're looking at these we have many different variables but there's one variable that's ever changing. Do you know what it is? Well, it's human impact. So every time we throw one of these gliders, that the human variable is there because we're not able to toss it exactly the same every time. So brainstorm at home with your family and see if you can come up with a way to limit the impact that humans have on our testing of our hoop glider. And next time, you might see if you can make any bigger changes. Well, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed our hoop glider activity and that you're enjoying the Society of Women Engineers Engineering Expo. It's definitely, definitely been a fun time hanging out and teaching you all about hoop gliders. Make sure to check out exploration.org for more information and also check out the sweet event page so that you can stay up to date on all of the cool activities happening throughout the engineering fair.
That's me. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time.